Hey, Piers Crawford here. Welcome back to this month's update, recapping the month of October. This month, we'll be going over a few topics around landlords protection insurance. It's a timely conversation to have during rising rents and cost of living pressures that could start kicking in hard over the next 18 months. Hi, Janine here from Ray White, Holland Park Camp Hill property management team. And today I'm here to talk to you about landlord's insurance. So building insurance and landlord's insurance are two different things. Your landlord insurance is in place to cover you for sort of anything that may happen during your tenancy. In the last 30 days, we've had two separate landlords that either didn't have adequate or active landlord's insurance policies. Client number one owns a unit. We had an after hours emergency call out that the flexi hose had burst, which now meant the entire unit it was flooded. We needed a full water extraction team in there to get all that water out and then carpets, underlay, skirting board, etc. were all damaged. So by not having landlord's insurance, that client's out of pocket is going to be anywhere between five and ten thousand dollars. Second client owns a freestanding house in a lower socioeconomic status. That tenant unfortunately didn't meet their lease obligations and just left in the middle of the night and what they meant is we've now got an owner who's out of pocket for cleaning, rental arrears and a small amount of damages. Now there is the option to go to QCAT and do tribunal. However, if these clients had had landlord's insurance for an excess of between sort of $250 and $500, their out of pocket would have been reduced quickly and they would have had their funds a lot quicker. In my two decade career, my preference and Ray White Holland Park Camp Hill's preferred landlord's insurance supplier is Terry Shear. Summarily or briefly speaking, if you've got a rent of less than $1,000 a week, you're looking at a $389 a year policy. And again, those excesses are gonna range between $250 and $500. We're gonna link through to the FSG and the website so you can have a look at the PDSs um, and see if it's something that you're interested in. If you already have active landlords insurance, there's three things I'd like you to check. With the new pet legislation, do you have pet cover? Number two, do you have loss of rent cover? Because that's going to be something that's really important. And number three, do you have accidental as well as malicious damage? Feel free to go straight through the Terry Shear website or reach out to myself or the property management team and we'll be more than happy to help you out. Thanks so much. The highest this month was 950, which was Anita Street, Yoronga, five bedroom, two bathroom, two garage. Lowest was 6 2 Lisburn Street, East Brisbane, and that was rented for 300 per week. That was a one bedroom, one bathroom. Pre market opportunity for this month is 406 Chatsworth Road, Cooparoo, three bedroom, one bathroom, three car. It is 200 metres walking distance to a group of shops, so it falls under the rule of you can subdivide down to 300 square metres. So it's a great opportunity to buy a property that you can rent out and then subdivide later. Thanks for tuning in. See you next month. <music>